Let's start drawing with AutoCAD now. Click on the AutoCAD icon and wait for it to open. Coming up, we're going to draw the tennis court. So let's start a fresh drawing here. This right here is an infinitely large drawing board where we create our drawings. This on the side is the toolbar. Down here on the left is the command line and on the right is the status bar. On the toolbar, if you leave your mouse on each tool, it displays additional information about the command. Down here on the command line, it asks for exact information. For example, if we draw a circle, it asks for the radius, or it gives you more options of how you could draw the circle, for example with two points or three points. So let's draw a circle five meters. We simply type five, push enter. Now here's the circle. As you see, the circle is small. That's because the drawing area is much larger than the circle. I mean, this is an infinitely large drawing board. So we've zoomed out quite a lot. Now I'm going to introduce you to the status bar, where functions such as zoom, pan, grid distance, ortho mode are. And then we could use this scroller to zoom in and out. And you can also pan left to right when you click your mouse. Or we can also go up here where view is and then go to zoom and then extent. By doing this, this frames only what we've drawn. Now, if you look at the status bar, a few things are on that we don't need at the moment. Let's turn it off for now. Now let's take a look at this tennis court photo. Notice right here, this is a line of symmetry. This will be our starting point. So let's go to the draw panel and pick line. Notice as you draw and move your mouse around, the length and inclination of the line changes. But this isn't really what we want. We want horizontal and vertical lines. So we go down here back to the status bar and we turn on ortho mode, or you can click F8. When it's on, it's in blue. Now we only can move left, right, up and down. So let's start drawing. Let's draw a line 10.97 meters to the left, 11.89 meters up, and 10.97 meters to the right. And then instead of typing 11.98 meters downward, we can simply type C on the command line, and this closes the polygon for us on the command line. As you use these different tools, you see that you could control a lot. Now let's go to the modify panel. Here, we're going to use the offset tool, which offsets objects at a specified distance. So we'll offset these two lines by how much? 1.37 meters to the right here and to the left. So now we clicked offset, and we just need to type 1.37 and then push, move it to the left, right, and then push enter, and then you're there. And when you're finished, push enter and then push escape. Now we're going to offset this service line from the net. So to repeat command, you push spacebar. And then now we choose the line and then we type in the distance on the command line. And then we're good. Then we're going to draw the center line. So this center line is at the midpoint of the service line to the midpoint of the net. Instead of offsetting, we're going to draw a new line. And to help us draw that line, we're going to use object snap, because we don't want to find the midpoint by measurement. So I suggest you to only turn on two or three object snaps. And you can click turn on right here or push F3. Now I want you to move your cursor close to the midpoint and as you see there's this little green triangle so just push it and snap around it. We're going to try to erase these two little lines so we go to the modify panel and we push the trim command. On the command line it asks for the cutting edges. That is like choosing the knives to cut with. So here we can simply click these two lines, 
or if we want to make it quicker we can use the crossing window we simply click and let go and then move from the right to the left and anything touched or enclosed by the green box will be selected as opposed to if you use a regular window which is blue you click let go and then move from left to right you have to enclose the whole thing in order to select the lines you want now that you're done selecting the lines you push enter and then select those two little lines you want to trim and push enter and you're done and the push escape okay now we finished half of the court an easy way to finish the other half is to mirror it you go to the modify menu and we click on this mirror command as you see here on the command line it asks us to select objects to be mirrored. We want everything to be mirrored except for this line of symmetry because if you select that there'll be an extra line overlapping the line we already have. So don't select that. So you push enter then it asks for the line the selected objects are to be mirrored on which is our line of symmetry, our starting point. So we simply click from this point to the end point or midpoint, whatever you like. And push enter and then ask for erase source object no we don't want that and that's already the default answer so push enter and the next video will do the measurements and find out how tall the player has to be